forget to subscribe our channel image enhancement this topic it completely deals with uh, enhancing the number of images uh, like whatever the images we provide towards the system so that particular images here we will be able to apply that uh, complete sort of functions so on what basis means from moving uh, the low quality image to high quality now inside this kind of uh, applications where it is being processed means nowadays we have uh, multiple types of softwares for editing the videos photos uh, and all that 3d characters or designing the 3d everything so this completes each and every sections are termed as image if you take video means uh, continuous moving frames are known as moving frames of images are known as the video so there also we have that particular image only so this particular image in what and all the ways that has been converted means based on the pixels what is that pixel so that pixel it is something but a portion which we can see inside the image where a group of pixels will be called as an image a single part or single data is known as an pixel so by grouping that particular pixel only here we will be able to form an image and that image formation also should vary according to each and every display size currently everyone is a consumer of digital visualization so what are those digital visualizations laptop screens uh, pc monitor tv mobile phones etc so from this particular different different digital visualization we have to see everything clear data okay so what is that particular clarity for example if you are taking a mobile and if you are capturing a phone we can just start from the oldest evolution so that particular image if you are just seeing inside that particular screen of the mobile means it is in a good clarity the same thing if i am taking into my pc and if i am seeing it on another uh, another viewer means therefore it will be in this particular mode so this type of clarity will be there okay now if you are taking the photo in a updated version of the mobile or you can say it as a dslr camera and after that seeing in that particular uh, camera lcd or led display and we are just seeing the same view inside our particular monitor so that is nothing but the clarity level or the balance because wherever we see that clarity should be maintained okay so how it is getting varied over here now if we go into this particular kind of clarity sections what are the different clarity ratios like 144 240 360 480 720 1080 4k so this and all that particular different different qualities and before 4k some displays are even working in the form of 2k so this kind of different different displays only here that image enhancement is required and at the same time if you display this highly enhanced image into a small display means you will be getting it more brighter so this is known as the requirement of enhancement section so the display should automatically enhance according to the feature okay for example if you are recording a 4k video and if you are going just going and playing it in a 1080 pixels tv like a full hd tv it never plays the reason is whatever the uh, 4k which we have taken 4k means it is for 4000 resolutions are there that particular resolution pixels have around of 4000 so that particular 4000 it is nothing but each and every boxes will be there so once when you are compressing trying to compress into a tv means 1080 pixels tv therefore that compression process also will be taking so that some of the processor will automatically starts to get heat up over there like it has to compress and at the same time it has to run this video so this is double time the work 
if you are giving an actual procedure inside to that particular display means therefore it is equal to that particular processor and therefore it will be automatically executing that video without any interference whatever we are facing the interference inside the youtube it is completely different that cannot be related towards uh, this particular tv because all the display or visualization it is controlled through cloud by youtube but here if you directly plug in that particular 4k video into the tv means the usb doesn't have that much kind of support or more than that if you want to just uh, play it in means you have to connect it through any of your hdmi connections then only it will be able to enable so this is nothing but the difference between the enhancement sections or that resolution sections for an image or uh, video over here because according to that 4k video the audio is also in that much uh, amount of high clarity that is the main reason for uh, many of them are just uh, trying to work out over here and definitely why this particular image enhancement is used in image processing means for training purpose in machine learning and deep learning here we won't be able to directly implement that uh, 4k image 1080 image or 720 image for training purpose so we have to resize the size of that particular image remove that particular uh, pixels after that we will be converting into the gray scale so from that only here we will be able to train that particular image in the binary language then only the machines will be encoded into its weights file or cfg file anything on this particular basis only the image enhancement portions are required for image processing purpose so inside this image enhancement what on all here we'll be using like uh, contrast enhancement spatial filtering density slicing fuzzy clustering so this and all some sort of applications which we will be seeing like yesterday we have seen some of uh, the fusion techniques so inside that fusion is all how that image has been fused and from that particular fusion like uh, how we will be able to take only that particular portion over there how to resize a particular image by using im resize section so this and all known as uh, some parts of processing techniques so this and all includes inside the processing part and same way if we go for this particular image enhancement sections or image enhancement so enhancement and enhancement means like uh, increasing and decreasing only so that particular enhancing part it is from low clarity to high clarity so if that particular video is capable of it definitely we will be able to enhance it by removing its blurness or uh, changing its complete how to say like its parameters the same thing if you want to enhance means it is also possible by removing the number of pixels and nowadays uh, i won't use any of the particular direct kind of uh, softwares for this in, in case if i want to download any of the 240 pixels video uh, i have already that particular online compiler there are some of the online free compilers for that like uh, if you just go into that website we have to drop their video we have to select the resolution and if you give okay they will convert it and we can download it so i need to uh, no need to install any of the softwares over here so with that particular software the video size is also compressed over there. so this kind of uh, functions and all can be sent as image enhancement and enhancement sections among that image enhancement and enhancement today we will be focusing on thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel